चेक चेक Rapping, yeah, like you know, for me when I started, hip hop was the one thing that made me strong, and I personally believe that if if it wasn't for hip hop, I wouldn't be able to do many of things that I probably thought I would never be able to do. When I grabbed the mic and performed for the first time in front of an audience, uh, it was it was crazy. Like people be like, when people are like actually screaming your name, double J on the, on the stage. that kind of gave me and that kind of gave me this source of light that maybe what i'm doing is actually not bad you know maybe people actually like my stuff my name is joel jo i'm a rapper dancer and a beatboxer i started writing when i was 10 to be precise i started writing on my own whatever that came in my head and i was like you know i just jot them down i was always this um lonely uh shy kind of guy and when i found hip hop it just made me stronger and i felt like you know this is what i want to do uh i remember in 2012 when i told my parents the first time that i wanted to be a rapper It's kind of hard for them to digest. Obviously, uh, they were like, "Okay, music, rap," and that was a time way like in zone 13 and all. Nobody even like listened to rap music. Like it's just very less people. After 2018 and when Gully Boy came into the picture, that's when like everybody was like into hip hop and both art and all that stuff. Fast forward to 2008, 9, 10. And the Natale, and the and the Natale, yeah. rapping in the Ur Valley, Mona Milanay, rapping when I'm in Hindi, me to kar de. This is the time when made you know things got a little hard on me and I I lost all my confidence was all from this time period. Like you know being kids we don't realize what we say back then. I think it's all like okay it just comes with the flow and we don't realize what we say. But it can be very very traumatizing to somebody in the future as well. Like I still remember I used to get mocked for my skin color and I feel like I mean. Now you know the repercussion. What happens when you say something like that? I still remember uh, these kids be like, "Okay, don't sit next to this guy. It's all black and dirty." Until I perform somewhere, this fear was always in me because whatever I do, I look in the mirror and my and I start rapping. I I don't know whether it's good or not. Like to me, when I listen, I'll be like, "Okay, it's good." But you know, how does others perceive that? I don't know. It's just you need to find that right thing. Like you know, what makes you what what will make you strong? There's always that one thing that each and everyone should find out, and I think that's. That's what it is. That will make you strong. And I, for me, it was hip hop and rapping. What is rapping? So, if you dissect it, rapping is something. I mean, mostly people say R A P, rhyming and poetry. For me, I mean, obviously that has to be there. but if you have a story to say so you get like four bars like in four bars how can you convey a story in this four bars like i would think of words from here and there and here and there i'll just pick few words and i'll be like i'll just crunch them in and i'll just put in them i'll just jot them first i'll write all the rhymes i have in one side and then on the other side i'll have these metaphors and then i'll just jot them in and i'll be like okay in this sentence this will fit in this will fit right and syllables and every single things some of the things like what i mention usually I kneel in the moon, stretching like my arm is strong. So, kneel, I'm strong as a person who's and in the moon, and then kneel, and I kneel down in the moon and stretching like my arm is strong. So, lines like that, and then I say stuff like, I can be fast as a Ramadan. What now? Take a look over there, but can I be fast, man? I'm a down. So, here, I'm fast as Ramadan. So, when you know what is Ramadan, like what do you do in Ramadan? You fast. You are fasting, right? So that kind of stuff. So, you're fast. fast but also i'm proving take a look where the debate can be fast so i'm like rapping fast also so i play around like these and then then i'll be like okay what fits right what fits here and there so this is why rapping is so creative and so interesting i think it's i think people need to realize like how amazing a rap culture and the music is i see different kind of rap evolving there is 
chill, there is lo-fi, there is uh, boom bap, uh, old school, trap, everything just like evolved with over the years and I felt like you know I need to find like the right kind of style that would suit this and I, I felt like you know what's gonna give make me stand out from others like there are like a lot of rappers out there if you see north, east, west, south, everywhere I started rapping fast Let me think Waiting definitely checking the beat the words for the tone that I'd never seen it Maybe for stand up in the cat with the god of that I never even knew that I'd love it Any running out of capacity that's a pretty bad thing And adding up another word is never said it wasn't making up with the words Like I'm celebrating my wedding and murder Anybody that I wanna get up cause with the realest and the realest and the get up on the finish Cause I'll be diminishing finish in the back and all the thoughts And never even thought that I'd be think that I'm a flop Never make it to the top, sitting on the block, sucking on the white Waiting for the clock, pills and never pop, views are gonna drop It took years and years to harness and learn that craft Definitely it's not easy a lot of people will be like, okay, he can just rap fast, he doesn't have bars. Thing is, this is the most important thing. When I write something, I write in such a way that certain things are for certain things. Like when I write, when I talk about metaphors and word plays and stuff, that's a different kind of rap. When I do fast rap, I, I just focus on like, you know, the speed, the flow. I don't focus on other things because, you know, people are not going to listen to your lyrics anyways. They're not going to focus on your fast flow. So I wanted to ensure that I want to go fast. And everything that I say is clear. And that's when I dropped the song Comeback and I was like, I was in my lowest at that point. Like, thinking that I've been doing this for a lot of years and I'm not getting this reach. And I felt like, you know, I should drop this and that's when I finally dropped the song Comeback. It fetched me a lot of new, new listeners. I started Spotify. It increased to thousand, more than 1000 monthly listeners and then now it's in 2000, 1900. It's going well, people are actually listening to my music and that made me realize like, okay, there is a good reception to it. There, there are people listening to it, you know. So this fast rap thing, when Comeback came into the picture, when that track came out, I saw this website, uh, India Book of Records, and I was like, why don't I try for something which nobody would actually possibly do something. I felt like, you know, I need to try something. This was the time when I had no money, I was jobless and uh, I was like at that lowest point of time and I was like you know these are the times when you actually feel like you gotta explore more and you do stuff and that's when I did it and I gave it a shot the first time I sent it to them it was rejected saying that you cannot uh, send the YouTube link you gotta do a live second time I gave it a live the words had to be changed because a lot of words were repeating third time I gave it they said uh, some of the words has to be removed because it's too offensive. The fourth time I did it, some of the words start rolling because it's like continuous. Like you, there's no break for you. Just like one minute, uh, one minute, two minute. You gotta rap fast continuously like to meet that record. Like I was like, you know, you lose that confidence when you lo uh, after four, after four or five times, you just be like, okay, I may not be able to do it. And you just like fell like quitting. And it's the sixth time. I took seven days of break. I practiced. I I took a lot of. Uh, breathing exercise and I was like you know I would probably give it a shot and I was like the sixth attempt when I gave it a shot I finally get the mail back saying you congratulations you are registered as a fastest rapper in India English Slowly, eventually, this this reached into somebody else's attention as well. Star Sports reached out to me, and they reached out to me and asked for an RCB track to make a, a make a theme for RCB. And I was like, finally, I'm getting everything. I, like, I'm slowly, slowly getting it. If, even though I haven't reached that point yet, but I'm slowly getting it. Like, you know, there is there is a improvement in what I'm doing. People are reaching out to do interview. People wanted to know about the story of how I made it to the India Book of Records, so that kind of gave me this leverage, you know, here and there. Uh, being in this Indian culture, you know, uh, how hip-hop has evolved, it's like evolved drastically. Like, the, the pioneers were these guys anyway, and uh, Brother V, these two were like inspiration for me. 
you know these two rappers you know they came from out of nothing and they did this they just kept focusing on youtube they just kept posting stuff and then they kept doing it and eventually it took them 7 to 8 years to get to where they are they didn't they didn't use any contacts or cloud or something like for me i don't have big contacts and stuff the only thing i depend on is my skill my ability and i believe in myself like you know to keep working hard so now we have a lot of track coming up so already my latest track was talking about uh, how the issues that women face and how you know their what feminism is and all about all about that and i think you know we need to equally address every single issue now next song that i coming up are like you know how uh, social media can affect your life why do you need acceptance and validation from a lot of people the basic motto for anything i feel is like you know work hard to do more and double that to be consistent and that's the key for everything Well I'm double J just in case it didn't know my name I'm anyways I'm laying down the truth just to say you are the best you will beat the best you will conquer the rest follow that line and stomp down push out the rest you have the heart and fire desire to conquer your life to prove others trying to bring that down forget their advice to keep up you keep it chin up head up i just want to levitate your family won't let you know your lover will ditch you and go but know that when you're too good your haters will grow here we go